So Cyberpunk has a hotfix 1.06 that just released for Stadia. And normally the hotfixes have gone a, have gone a long way to address mm, visual issues. But this time around, I don't see anything visual that this is addressing. So hot fix 1.06 is looks like it's addressed. It says for PC consoles and Stadia, here's a full change. Quests, Dum Dum will no longer go missing from Totinte's uh, entrance during second conflict. The um, console specific, specific improved memory management and stability resulting in fewer crashes, PC specific, remove the eight mega, megabit sa sa uh, save file size limit. Note this won't fix save files corrupted before the date. Wow, that's crazy because what happened there is that if you, once the save file went to eight megabytes, it was corrupted. That's crazy. Um, so you can't get those saves back. Stadia specific, improve, now look at all this stuff. Improved driving mechanics for story and PCs while Visa passenger. Fix rare crashes upon loading near end game saves and repair some of the previously broken saves oh wow so they were able to fix broken saves for stadia wow <laughs> they're really giving stadia the the the, the creme de la creme treatment weapons should no longer get stuck when using gadgets uh v should no longer randomly get stuck in strong attack position v should no longer randomly switch to a sprint while crouching forward fix the inability to re reload weapons or use grenades and consumables um i'll say this that i didn't know that the stadia version had them problems very interesting what do you guys think about that real quick before we move on i didn't know that the stadia up, um version i've never run into those the, the the issues that i've run into is the one where sometimes i'll go shoot and it won't stop shooting and i've run into that on stadia and pc so that seemed like a universal issue but what do you guys think about that um I see Illusion has said, I got the Roku TV. Can I use my Chromecast Ultra and play Stadia on it? You mean you got your Google TV, not the Roku TV? Uh, yes, you can. You can sideload it. Um, I have, th there's a great video on how to sideload it. You basically, oh, I don't have it on me. I might make a video on how to do that. Somebody might have, I'm, I'm thinking Andy Morse. Does Andy Morse have a video on that? You have to sideload it onto your Google TV. And once you sideload it on Google TV, um, make sure that a PlayStation or an Xbox controller or a third party controller that works with Google TV is connected. Because that's how you're gonna navigate at first. After you navigate with that controller, you can like start a game like The Division, start it up, exit the game. And then when you exit the game, um, your Stadia controller prompts will pop up. So it's like, it's about 10 steps to do. It requires sideloading the Stadia app on there, um, getting a um, this, this program that can move files and some other things. And, and it kind of gets a little quirky, a, a remote program, because to get past that first screen, you need a, like a keyboard and mouse kind of like setup. And you can mimic that with this remote this remote program. Um, I forgot the guy that, that showed me mine, but I'll, I'll see if I can do it. But look look it up. It's definitely possible. And if you get the later APKs, like the last few APKs that are out there in the sites that give you APKs, it's it's, it's buttery. It's, it's not flawless, like I know how Stadia wants it to be, but it's buttery smooth, definitely. Okay. So, uh, Ray Shiraz says he get crashes. I know. I, see, I don't get. You know what it is, Ray. I think you're using one of the. I, I'm not sure how you side loaded it. I know you were having problems when you side loaded it. But here's the thing: when you side load it, because there's no official support, there are no updates. You have to manually update it yourself. So I used to get crashes all the time too because I was using the older APKs. Now I use the newer APKs. The last three out there. I get no crashes. It's like perfect. Like I play Immortal Phoenix Rising on it all the time. I have like a staunch, <laughs> I have a staunch, uh, uh, what do you call that? Curfew for being up here in the studio. I got to come down by like five, 5.30 at the latest. 
it used to be because I had to do some work with my mother-in-law, but now my wife got me doing some other stuff. So I got to be out of here 5, 5.30, the latest, right? And where I can go downstairs and play games and stuff like that while my wife is down there chewing my ear off about whatever, God knows whatever. Um, I, That's what I play on. I play on the Google TV. It's a fantastic experience. I love it. I wouldn't trade it for the world. So Icy Illusion is definitely... Because I get cars floating out of the clouds. Oh, man, this, this guy's crazy. Project Storm says each of these glitches have never happened more than a few times of that. Yeah, I don't I don't get it. I don't get that. I don't I don't I don't get that stuff. You know, not saying it doesn't exist, but I don't get it. Charles says, I heard the Nerd Nest video on on it. All three Hitman games will get state cheer, not just three. I wonder if all three will have ray tracing two we'll see that's interesting that's interesting definitely all right cool interesting stuff 